student in Henrico is facing charges tonight for having parts that could be assembled to create a gun. Good evening, I'm Bill Fitzgerald. This comes as multiple school districts across the country had an increased police presence today due to possible threats. Our Shannon Lilly joins us live now with the very latest from police tonight. Shannon. And Bill, just behind me, that's where we're told this weapon was found. Two students sitting in a car during school hours. And what happened next had both school staff and police concerned. Officers lined the Henrico High School parking lot Friday evening outside their cars before tonight's game. The heightened security comes just hours after a student here was arrested on three gun related charges, including possession of a firearm on school property. Earlier in the day, police say a school resource officer and staff noticed two students out in a car during instruction time and in that car with them, all the components to make a functioning handgun. The principal sent home a statement saying, quote, these are unprecedented times with major challenges in schools. It will take all of us working together to continue to provide a safe environment. The arrests come amid viral TikTok posts alluding to unconfirmed threats of school violence Friday. School districts in our area and across the country saw increased security because of it, although officials say the threats weren't deemed credible. It bothers me that my kids have to live in that fear all the time. Chesterfield mom Shannon Ronaldson kept her kids home from Midlothian Middle School because of it. I wasn't able to take the chance of what ifs and send them anyways. Along with losing her dad to gun violence, Ronaldson says her cousin Kelly Fleming. This was the 13 victims was among these faces. It scares the crap out of me. My cousin passed away in the Columbine shooting and every time I'm going to keep keep keeping my kids home because that's my worst fear. It's every parent's worst fear. Now, again, police say that large law enforcement presence that we saw here locally and nationally was really out of an abundance of caution. As for the student who brought the weapon to school today, he is now sitting behind bars. He's being held at the Henrico County Juvenile Detention Center. And police are asking parents that they say this is a good time to sit down with your kids and have a discussion with them about the consequences of making threats and bringing a weapon to school.